So today we've come to uh, Rutland Water. I'm not going to do much uh, vlogging. This is, for me is just a bit of exploration. Never been here before. So we're going to have a walk around, take a few photos. Um, trust me, got my new microphone set up and left it behind. So um, that's not great. So that's another reason I'm not going to do a massive amount of vlogging. But I think I really just need to concentrate on having a walk around. I'll take some video. Um, take some uh, b-roll so you can see what the place looks like and take some photos and I think the hides will be quite busy anyway so um, I'm not going to be able to talk much while I'm in there so uh, let's go see what we can find <laughs> Just looking out from this hide, we've got uh, shoveler ducks. Uh, got a great white egret just a little bit further over. Um, several mallards, got a little more hen. Uh, so quite a variety out there, but uh, probably probably quite distant really for um, for photos. So. I guess as you look through the different hides you might find some are closer to the water than others. This is quite close to the water but the birds are a little bit further away and not, not in the in tightly in the lagoon here really. move on and see what other hides we can find. I think the couple of hours I'm going to have here is not just not going to be anywhere near enough time. Um, I'm told there's 30, 30 plus hides here or 30, 36 hides here so <laughs> you know and that in a day, no way. So I'm just going to explore a few of them and just see what we find. It's, it's a pretty, pretty vast place by the looks of it. Now in the uh, in the green part, we've got a couple of little coots outside. Uh, just to the left of us, we've got uh, long-tailed tits, and there was a tree creeper in the tree, um, but 
didn't get a clear shot of it, but uh, it might come back. Uh, they're quite nice little birds, but do move around pretty quick, so you have to be pretty quick taking a photo of them to get uh, to, to get them properly. Um, I have to say it's it's pretty dull out here today. Um, definitely not ideal for photography. So, you know, okay for exploring to find out what's what's around. Um, but I don't think we're going to get any great images today, so I say it's just going to be a little bit of a have a look around, see what's here, and, and get a bit of a flavour for the place. Now we've got a couple of uh, couple of great white egrets um, sharing some space, which is quite unusual for them. And as we say that, one of them takes off down the down the lake. Probably can't see it on the video, but it's only quarter to three, and it's really dull out there now. It's really dull, so let's go and let's go and have a walk and see what other hides we can find. We didn't get the uh, tree creeper again in that uh, in that hide, but uh, I've got some uh, photos I took at a different place uh, last year with the tree creeper. So I'll post one up so that you can at least see what it looks like. Lovely little birds, very well camouflaged in the trees, but um, certainly don't stick around long and don't stand still very long. So quite hard to photograph. But yeah, I'll post one so you can see what it looks like. Can't see it, but uh, you can probably hear. Sounds like a little chiff chaff somewhere up there.
I just can't get over how dark it is out here. It's only what it's uh, two minutes to three, and it's the light's absolutely shocking. So I'm struggling to see anything, even with my eyes, let alone with the camera. Um, so we're certainly not going to get any good shots today. But as I say, it's a bit of a, a first time here, so I'll have a look around. So probably just time to go and see maybe one more hide. Um, we'll have a walk along to the next one, just see what that's like. At least we'll have scouted the place out a little bit. Probably seen four out of the 30-odd hides, four or five. So um, only really scratch the surface, but... Let's go and find another one. It's the uh, sandpiper hide now. Um, some lovely, lovely bulrushes just in front of here. Um, that'd be nice if you could get some things on there in a, on a nice brighter day, that is. Um, but everything else is pretty distant again. Some swans out there, some ducks, and as I say, it's, it's getting so dull I can't even see what they are. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a little bit far away. Um, looks like um i'm guessing that's one of the osprey um perches uh, or osprey nesting perches over in the uh, in the middle of the lake so um, that's good to know um, that's probably worth coming back to have a look at sometime um but yeah it's i mean it's a, it's a beautiful landscape i mean there's no doubt about it but uh, it's certainly not a day for photography. Um, whatever happens, I'm going to show you the video anyway. Um, and because I think, you know, at least it gives you a bit of an introduction to, uh, to Rutland water as well, um, as well as me. Um, so yeah, I will be, I will be showing the video um, and, uh, and hopefully you get something out of it. And it's definitely, definitely a place to come back to. Um, but uh, definitely pick a, a brighter day and you know when you've got more time it, it definitely needs more time to come to this place so but uh, gotta gotta walk back yet so you never know might see something on the way back so we'll just uh, keep our eyes peeled So in true fashion for me, I'm not going to give up to the last minute. So we're just going to check out one last hide, which I think is called the shoveler hide.
Well, this hide, unlike some of the others, definitely lives up to its name. Um, there's certainly a lot of shoveler ducks out there. Um, there's also a couple of um, quite nice shell ducks out there. Um, they're very smart, smart looking birds. Um, and the good thing is they're quite light, so even in this dull light, they actually show up quite well. That's going to be it from me from Rutland Water. Um, I'm going to sign off this video before it gets so dark out here you can't even see my face. Um, so and it is getting on now, I think it's about quarter to four. So uh, it will be starting to get dark soon anyway. So I'm going to find my way back so I don't get lost. And uh, hopefully, you know, you've enjoyed the introduction to Rutland. Uh, definitely come back one day and, and do some. Uh, Spend some more time and do some more photography uh, as i say when the light is a lot better um but uh, yeah have a great day whatever you're doing or a great evening and um i'll catch up with you again soon so bye for now